Welcome, I'm Paul Morin with the Energy Conservatory and welcome to our webinar, Intro to the Tech Trainer. And I'll go over a few housekeeping items first. If you're not hearing anything from your computer's um, speakers, you'll need to dial in and the number is under the audio section on the right. There's a phone number there. You can dial in and listen over the phone uh, to the presentation. Um, if you have any questions for the presenter, um, there's a section on the right for questions and uh, you can type type them in that box and send them and um, other um, viewers won't be able to see those questions but if I respond to them then then everybody will be able to see the question and I will be responding to questions uh, throughout the webinar and it um, may take some time at the end to answer questions uh, if your question isn't addressed you'll get an email response to the questions and the webinar will be available on the Energy Conservatory website within a week or so and it will be on um, the Energy Conservatory YouTube site and you can also view um, our other webinars and other videos on that site um, and, and you're welcome to use those during any trainings um, as part of your training. Um, our agenda today, we'll, we'll go over the purpose of the of the tech trainer, we'll go over what's included in that system, setting it up, and also demonstrating uh, some of the testing options. Um, so the purpose of the trainer is to display the, the setup and operation of a blower or an duct blaster in a classroom setting. That's primarily what it was designed for. So um, you're able to put that uh, blower door setup, duck blaster setup right in the front of a class. Um, if you have a larger class, it's it's helpful to have uh, always have a location where uh, it's readily visible to everybody. Um, you can also use it along with the DG700 simulator, so you can broadcast the gauge up on a screen. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but that allows you to demonstrate um, the use of the gauge and um, and also the op uh, uh, the process of operating a blower door and duct blaster test um, in front of class, where everybody is able to see the the blower door in operation and everybody's able to see the gauge in operation very clearly. So um, that certainly has its advantages, especially if you do uh, uh, traveling and. Um, and you're not quite sure, quite sure what the setup will be when you get there, you always have the ability to have the blower door set up in front of class where, uh, where it'll be highly visible. Um, it gives you the ability to give your students some hands-on practice. So you can certainly, um, if you have multiple uh, trainers, you can get multiple blower door setups and, and allow students uh, some time to get some practice setting up and, and running through the uh, running through the test. Um, it'll allow you to introduce uh, concepts such as zone pressure diagnostics and guarded testing. We'll go into that in some detail later. And, and demonstrate other uh, airflow measuring equipment. Um, what's included in the system is the um, hard shell um, a hard shell case and frame and hardware all fit uh, in um, what, what's like a double shotgun case and um, will allow you to set up, uh, um, easily carry around and set up that uh, in your classroom. And then there's a soft shell accessory case where everything else that's included in the system uh, neatly will fit in there along with the manual. Um, includes a red, red nylon cover that creates the enclosure around the frame it includes uh, uh, three leakage adjustment windows that allow you to um, adjust the leaks in the enclosure and the leaks in the ductwork. And um, there's a white attachment plate. And you can see uh, there's Velcro around the outside of it and the inside um, to allow you to attach that to the enclosure at the uh, leakage window site. Um, and uh, then there's a, a flex duct that looks, if those of you who have duct blaster systems will recognize this uh, flex duct on the square transition ends. Um, it has a hole, uh, a, a leakage to the inside hole in it uh, that's designed in it. And then um, 
similar to the round transition on the on the duct uh, the flex duct with the duct blaster system it has a place to attach a hole a hose to measure the pressure inside the duct uh, includes all the tubing you need for for um, using this system in the in the links that are appropriate for the system so um, already uh, cut the length tubing that you'll need for the system in the manual includes instructions on all the setup and operation uh, includes ring C if you don't already have a ring C uh, that's needed for for some of the tests so we included that a ring C in the system um, also an extra gauge hanger bar so you can you can attach both the blower door and the duct blaster gauge to the system so you have two gauges connected to the frame and you'll notice that our new um, gauge hanger bars have a hook on both sides so it makes it easy to hook it up to either side of the gauge without having to flip it over um, the first step will be you'll take the frame pieces out of um, out of that carrying case and and you'll notice that they will have uh, markings on them a b c and d uh, there'll be a um, a decal on each of those that uh, uh, clearly will display those those uh, um, a b c and d and you'll notice a and the a sides the two a sides and the two c sides are identical and interchangeable um, and they're they're hinged so the, there's a shoulder bolt uh, in the corner that makes them hinge easily to uh, to pack back into that box so first step is you'll lay out those uh, frame pieces on the floor then you'll connect them together with the bolts provided um, so you'll assemble the the front and the rear pieces so this the front piece will act as a frame so it's an l-shaped uh, uh, piece that will um, uh, face towards where you install the door uh, the blower door into to create a jam and it's a standard door opening two foot six by uh, by six foot eight um, when you're installing um, those two sections together you'll you'll want to leave the uh, decide which which is going to be the the uh, bottom and which is going to be the top of the of the frame and uh, on the bottom section you'll leave there's a place for two bolts but you'll leave the top bolt open on both sides so the top bolt uh, on both sides of the bottom you'll leave off so you can later after the enclosure is installed you can attach the upper bolt uh, to the feet so that'll hold the um, um, the attachment uh, uh, feet in place um, then the next step is you'll install the red nylon uh, cover to create the enclosure so you'll stretch that over the frame that you just put together and then um, attach the stabilizing feet and um, there will be um, one inch bolts and wing nuts um, so you'll slide the the bolt through the enclosure through the frame through the enclosure uh, through the attachment feet and then use the um, uh, the wing nuts to to tighten it down and hold those stabilizing feet in place and then the um, the next step will be to attach uh, after the feet are installed there's velcro on the edges of the red enclosure and there's velcro on the edges of the um, the door opening and uh, and you'll stretch that over and, and make that attachment and one nice thing about this design is that will help hold the frame in place during the blower door test so um, this this overlap uh, connection of the velcro helps that frame from uh, from um, from coming out during the test so you want to make sure and get the uh, um, you know get that frame spread apart wide enough so it's it's in contact with the with the black metal and uh, and behind the um, the uh, the red panel and then uh, then we'll attach the um, the window attachments uh, the adjustable windows so you'll see there's velcro on the side here and you'll put the uh, the adjustable leak attachment windows uh, connect those to the frame right over uh, those sides and as I mentioned before there's three of those